Happy Thursday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, The Hollywood Conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. I hope you all tuned in last night to mine and John Solomon's interview with President Trump. And if you did, I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments um, what you thought about it. And next time around, give me your questions and maybe I'll sneak it in there a little bit. Um, okay, this next story, despite my sunny demeanor today, enrages me to a degree that I can't adequately convey in this video because I would use far too many words that I am trying to stop using. Uh, a lot of you know about Mayor uh, Steve Adler of Austin, Texas. He is a progressive liberal. Um, he has virtually destroyed the city of Austin. If you've ever been to Austin, it's like a mini Los Angeles as far as the homelessness and the crime and the litter and it's 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 awful. It's a really funky, cool, weird city uh, that liberals have managed to destroy, of course. Um, but Steve Adler was at uh, the funeral for an Austin police officer on Monday, a police officer who was killed in the line of duty, uh, and he fell asleep. Yeah, uh, the mayor of the city for which there is a police officer's funeral, uh, fell asleep at the funeral. It's absolutely disgusting and it shows just, I'm gonna read one of the tweets from uh, <clears throat> one of the other police officers. Uh, he tweeted out the picture and he said that uh, it's another example of Adler's contempt and utmost respect toward law enforcement. If you're going to defund and destroy a police department as their mayor, then attend a highly respected officer's funeral. Perhaps do not continue to disrespect that officer's family, friends, and other officers by falling asleep. You have time and time again shown nothing but contempt and utmost disrespect towards the men and women of the Austin Police Department, but also our families. Um, Adler submitted a statement, said, I want to express my deepest apologies to the family of Officer Martin. Officer Martin died 10 days ago and will forever be honored as a hero. This moment should be about him and his family, including his two daughters, whose words today pierced my heart as a father. I hold Officer Martin in the highest regard. May his memory be a blessing to his family and to the city he served. Oh man, okay, I apologize. He did not die in the line of duty. He died in a car crash um, a few weeks ago coming home from work. Uh, but he served in the Air Force uh, for nearly 20 years before going into law enforcement in Austin. Um, it's disgusting. I am so sick of the liberal left showing such disrespect to so many important institutions in our country. The institution of traditional values, the institution of law and order, it's disgusting. And you all have a chance to uh, exact a referendum on Democrats this November, and I hope you do. All right, everybody, head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us. Sign up for my daily emails, go to my pillow and use my promo code Hollywood. See you tomorrow.